Hey everybody, Shay here for another Blind Let's Play of The Lion Song. We are playing Episode 3, Derivation, and uh, we're going to be playing a mathematician, I believe, and based on the character in Anthology, uh, once I was reviewing the episode, the whole idea of an, uh, the duality, uh, the nature of duality, and why uh, Fran Franz was so intrigued by this character is because, and I didn't catch it because of the pixel art maybe, or I didn't catch it, I don't know what I would, but it's that it was a woman pretending to be a man because I guess at this time it was unheard of um, for a woman to go into math based on the uh, preview that we were able to see at the end of episode two. Once you clear this game, it shows you a uh, sneak peek into episode three. And so of course, then I was like, oh, duality, the whole comment about duality. So here we go. Let's uh, see what the story is all about. Starting once more in, at the uh, Vienna Central Station. I think this is a train. My train. This is my train. You're drunk. Yes. We're all drunk. What is your point? We've been drunk for hours. Didn't you notice? Here now. What's this? We're seeing our friend Theodore off. We've been saying goodbye since... What is today? He's not going anywhere unless he boards the train. Would you like some help with the steps, sir? Leave me be. I'm perfectly capable of climbing a couple steps. Bye, chums. <laughs> Is the train moving? <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Ta-da! Would you like to take your suitcase with you, sir? Very well, if you insist. All aboard, all aboard for... Vein, Wiener, Wiener, no stat. And we're off. Three characters now. Snore. Hmm. <laughs> Snore. Nice. Oh. Earlier that afternoon. Oh, neat. It's actually going to show the uh, crossover. Wait. That? <laughs> that? Excuse me, I am looking for the radius. I'm not sure I understand, madam. Mathematician circle. Nice. I'm working on the th this theory of maintained, and what would a young woman like you want with such an august group of gentlemen? I must speak with Professor Zahler. I am a mathematician. My theory, it's about... <laughs> a woman mathematician? Are you indeed? And I am Arch Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Oh, there's a painting of that dude. I forget who painted it. Uh, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I must see Professor Zahler. He's expecting me. He's expecting you here? Now? While the radius is in session? I doubt that very much. But, madam, this is a cafe. There are patrons lining up behind you to eat. In that case, I would also like to eat. Please, show me to a table. Certainly. If you will step to one side, I will see to, uh, to these people who have been waiting so patiently. Then I will seat you. What? I was here first, bitch. Hmm. Ah, the circle. The kitchen. The wet restroom. Door with peculiar sign? Oh. The lavatories. I thought the radius meets in there. <laughs> Only if it's circling the drain, am I right? Okay. Ah, the radius. Oh, maybe I should have clicked around, huh? Well, that was awkward. <laughs> no one solved it this week. Have you forgotten theorem? Madam, you cannot be in here. This is a private gathering. I must speak with Professor Zeller. I'm here at Professor Zeller's invitation. Yeah. You must be mistaken. These are mathematicians, as am I. Please announce me. My name is Roshis Roshnishek. Have I? Roshnishek?
Looking tired. Looking tired. Rajnish neck. Once you understand that the solution is child's play. Yes. We have dined. You know better than Mumbo. Rest in a sec. I don't recall. What? <laughs> Liar. Well played. Hello, sirs. Hello, shadowy gentlemen. Cancer throat. Uh, Professor Zoller, I am a mathematician like you. I wrote to you regarding Dent's recent proof about Hilbert's third problem. There's some mistake. This is a private discussion of higher mathematics. My letter. Name dropping, young woman, is not going to get you anywhere. Mathemati mathematics is a complex subject and highly unsuitable for women. Your brains are domestic, not logical. Please escort this woman out, waiter. And see that we are not interrupted again. There. You see? Do you want to get me fired? Please leave at once. Mathematician. Like me? <laughs> we gonna have a chance to interact or no? Just straight on out, huh? Oh. The reader probably should have clicked around. Hmm. Awkward. Seventeen. Same apartment as of seven was the other lady. Uh, Gretcha, maybe my apartment. Okay, little girl. I'm Nicole. Wait, Nicole, <gasps> the niece. I've just moved into the suite on the fourth floor. What is your name? Emma, Resnicek. I live behind that door you're blocking. My parents are in France. I ate my governess? How? Frau Schmoll. Are you talking about your governess? That, that young? That's all there is to know about me. I'm pleased to meet you, Nicole. I'm very tired. I'm sure that isn't all there is to know about you. Why do you hate your governess? She yells at me all the time. She makes me study stupid things. She's not my parents. How's that? I'm sure she's not that bad. Nicole! It's time for your music class, guys. Oh, music. Hmm. I need to go before Frau Schmoll finds me. Oh. It was very nice meeting you. I'm glad you will be my friend. <laughs> Just making assumptions like that, Nicole. Oh, circumference. Nice reference there. The circle. The mathematicians. The radius. Sorry. Derivation. Okay, let's click around. Okay, well, we got our apartment, apartment, and let's see if I can walk past the apartment. No, nope, okay. In we go. There's again more details or something. Committed. Cosines, wave signs, whatever they're called. <laughs> A state of change can be maintained. I'm sure of it. But how can I prove it? Mathematician, like me. <laughs> oh, yes, I am just a woman, but I have a new idea. I like this is a zero circle radius. Mm -hmm. uh, no one will listen. No one cares. Sigh. Outside. Check outside. Get a breath of fresh air. The radius was supposed to help me, but I didn't even get to state my problem. Oops. 
wardrobe. My clothes take up only one side. A chair. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Hello, Emma. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. What was that? Do you want to say something? Blackboard? Uh, bu oh, blackboard? Not bookboard. Uh, no books? Chair. Let's do this chair. A chair. No table. Okay, blackboard. Get back to it. Come on, Emma. You can do it. It's the beginning of the proof. I know it is. There has to be a solution. Are, are we going to try to figure that out now? Oh, hello. Nice timing, because I don't know where else to click. Yes? Package for Emma Reshnishek. That is me. Thank you. From the hospital. Open. Hmm. A letter. Dear Fräulein Reichnischek, we regret to inform you that your father. Oh, is it John or Jan? I forget how to pronounce the J. Reichnischek succumbed to tuberculosis early Friday morning. As you are aware, his illness was not responding to treatment, and this is the inevitable outcome. We wanted to assure you that he passed peacefully in his sleep, and just the previous evening his thoughts were of you. We know you share our belief that he has gone to a better place, where his suffering is finally at an end. As you know, your father requested his clothing and personal effects be kept for you. We have therefore included them in this box. You have our sincere condolences for your loss. In sympathy, Johan Klinger, Senior Physician, Sanatorium, Salzburg, Austria. It's your fault, Father. You raised me to believe in myself. You believed in me, but now you are gone. What good is it if no one else does? Hours later, deep sigh. I need to put this his things away. No, the other side of the closet. Duality. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. The next morning. Sigh. I can't make any headway. It's no use. I have to get to the library. I'm late already. Maybe I could think more clearly if I wasn't drowning in memories. Papa. Sigh. Sigh. Another chair. A blackboard. I don't know how to continue. How about this chair? Another chair. You want to say hi to yourself, Emma? Hello, Emma. Okay, wardrobe. I know what you really want, but you're just thinking about Father left me his clothes. Go ahead, open it. Father left me his clothes. Okay, Okay. time to go to the library then. Hmm, get this kind of map again, okay. Well, you're already late, so time to get a move on. Oh, that wasn't lit up last time. I don't think. There, take a detour. Let's go to the parliament. See what happens. Alas, Athene. A woman right in front of the building. But not... But not one inside of it. Wow. Huh. Did I get... Uh, did I get stuff popping up last time with my... Hmm. There's a Greek temple in the middle of the park. I don't know why. Oh. Oh. Getting new places. It's a long way to walk around. The Hofburg. It's the winter residence of the Emperor. Huh. 
Oh, the other one's gone. Wasn't there one around here? I thought there was. Oh, the cathedral. Oh, the new. Oh, that's the canal. I thought I had one. Okay, the flow of the river was changing so that the floods would not destroy the city. Mm -hmm. My apartment. Oh, the same apartment as uh, the artist lives there, too. And not just. Uh, wait, so they all live in the same apartment? Oh, swans. Oh, look at that. It's <laughs> great. No longer playing the game, just. Barracks are gigantic. Just wandering around the city. Looking for random places. Maybe I don't want to go to work. Maybe I don't want to be late. Never think of that. Wait, was this here before? I don't remember seeing a big ass building. I remember the cafe. Oh my god. Come on, it wasn't that, that long ago. It's embarrassing. Is there another one? No. Alright, fine. Library time. Vienna University Library. This could indeed be the correct beginning, but how to continue? How can I observe functions of change? Maybe I have to reverse my approach. To get to the beginning, maybe you gotta figure out the end. Maybe get to the end, you gotta get to the beginning. Hmm? Huh? Circles, cycles? Hmm? Um, I am returning boys' own adventures. It was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountain climbers. Repetition of mountain climber there for the grandpa. Your book is overdue, young man. That would be too Cronin. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. Don't do it again or I'll come after you. Hmm. A small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to the hospital. When his grandmother came to see how he was how he was a nurse said no change yet why can't I see it a state of change that's like a falling leaf suspended in midair hmm. oh is that the ad? it's a fitting image excuse me is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. The Art of the Formal Garden by Carl Dorn. Yes, madam, Professor Dorn is a noted but botanist. Sigh. Nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. Almost done with work for the day. Maybe I should get something to eat and just try again tomorrow. Yes? Some food from the market should change things. Oh, I don't know. my desk. My desk. Not much else to see. My, to it. Return books. I'll quickly put these away. Okay. Oh. Half an hour later. Oh, you're going to get hungry? Am I distracting you? Leave library. I want to talk to this dude. Reading man. He's reading a physics book. Well, maybe not. Forest of bookshelves. That row of books runs parallel to the exit of the library. We only put books there if they are not very valuable. Smart. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Service, please. Um, nothing. Nothing. Nice view. Come on, reading man. Oh, I don't think he understands too much of what he's reading. That was new. That man is a regular. He never borrows anything. He comes here every day and spends hours reading the same book over and over. I didn't know I could keep clicking on things like this. Shoot. He's reading some, some book about attractive forces between physics bodies. Wait a minute. Is he looking at me? He's reading a physics book. I don't think he understands. Oh. Okay. Does this say different things? Row of books parallel to the library. Let me put them. No. All right. Time to leave. Let's go get something to eat. Oh, the market. Or the cafe. The market. Let's go to the market. No. 
Huh. I could have sworn this was the way to the market. I wonder. Women can't be mathematicians. Is it possible I could fool them? But how could I? Father, your clothes. You left them to me. Oh, Father, you left them to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Enter. Exit. Enter. Oh, what's the sign say? Too late. It's committed. Committed. Fashion for men. I wouldn't do for a lady for my of my age to enter unaccompanied. Oh. Okay. Gotta get that dude from the library, maybe. Go find uh, the market, will you? Oh. The hell? Let's try that again. Oh, strange. There we go. Father left me his clothes. I could use them to pose as a mathematician. They're at home in the wardrobe. No, I get it, but you're gonna you're hungry. Pretty lady, anything for you? What do you have for sale? What does it say on this blackboard? Excuse me. What does it say on the blackboard? Oh, can't you read it? I thought that it was very well written. It says today, two fifty grams of chanterelles for forty dollar. And one kilo of bullets for one crone. I see, thank you. But why the potato dry is at the top? Potato dry at the top. Where, where am I looking at the potato dry? This thing? Potato? That's a, that's a mushroom. Oh, of course. I totally see it now. All right, why, policeman. Excuse me, how can I help you, lady? Your mouth doesn't move when you talk. How do you do that? Long years of rigorous training, my lady. I don't even know need to blink anymore. <laughs> Anyways, vigilant always so Larry. Okay, that's, that's, that's a, a flower vendor. Shalom, my lady. How about some flowers to brighten up those these gloomy times? No, thank you. Flowers never survive long in my hands. I was going to grow some herbs at uh, one point, but I couldn't find the thyme. <laughs> Married of multicolored spices. Okay, uh, nothing here. Exit to map. I didn't get. Oh, I, I guess I could have kept talking until I bought something, huh? I'm just gonna go to the cafe, get some food. Why is she talking about the market? Oh, she wants to get dressed, huh? She's hungry. She said she was hungry. I'm gonna feed her. Give me something to eat, fool. I would like to dine. Of course. I will show you to a table. Perfect. While I'm at the table, I'll click around. Oh, hmm. There we go. Poster. Uh, sharply men and rugged women, as the audience expects. No change there. Cakes. The cafe offers a variety of cakes. All right. Uh, savory cakes. Okay, we're going to talk about the types of cakes. Yep. Father prefers savory. Oh, okay. He seems worried. He's sitting with another man. Oh, these, this dude is gone. Oh, are these two dudes together now? Uh, but they are not speaking one word with another, yeah, with each other, debating gentlemen. I wonder whether they ever considered evaluating political systems to improve upon pre-existing systems. Oof, that's a lot of coats. I submit 11. Wow, that's good. Good estimation. Screw the waiter, dick. There we go, we got our food. It's no use. The radius would never allow women. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have tried again, but. What's the point? I'm gonna dress in my father's clothing, then we'll see. I'll show you. Fools. I'll trick the fools. All right, let's go the, straight to your dad's clothes here. Wardrobe. Nice. Papa's clothes. I can use them to pose as a male mathematician. And finally get access to the radius. Let's see. People might still recognize my face. Oh, and then I go get the uh, stuff. From, mm, maybe. Okay. These pants will do nicely. This will look sharp. Excellent. 
I don't think that fits this outfit. Oh wow, they actually take that in consideration? Oh, neat. Won't be able to take anything off. Okay, just Clark Kent that shit. These will make me harder to recognize. And we want a hat. I don't think so. Top hat? Ha 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 ha. Yodel. <laughs> what are you talking about? It would have been it would have worked. Jacket. It's a bit big, but I think that will work. There you go. Oh, come on, top hat. That's right, perfect. Don't deny it. That should do. I can leave the outfit on these chairs. Oh. Oh, I wanted to see what you looked like. Hello, Emma. Let's go back to the blackboard. Oh, hold on a second. I don't know how to continue. Okay, wait. How about you dress like your dad first? I can shape my hair to look like sideburns. Nice. Hello. Who? I have it. Hello, Emil. Nice. Looking good, achievement? Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll leave the radius speechless. The next day. Ready to go. Now, the radius will receive a meal. Oh, you're ready to go, go. I'm just going to check on the rain. You can't walk through the rain, dude. Oh. Um, I could try getting past the meter and into the radius. All right. I like the look of this. How about that? Oh, should I go to the library first? I think it matters. Let's just go to the cafe. You can do that on a replay. You can experiment. Let's go to the library now. Oh, wait. I needed to get... This is a bad idea. Well, I mean, I could probably do it, but hold on. Good afternoon, sir. I believe you are new to our cafe. How can you tell? Oh, I never forget a face. Extraordinary. Well done. Maybe I should go to the library after all. Get that one, dude. How may I assist you? I am Emil. Um, Shell. A visiting mathematician from Berlin? I was told. Oh, that was no question. I was told I must introduce myself to the gentleman of the radius. Berlin? How wonderful. Unfortunately, you are the first to arrive. May I wait in the back room? I have come so far only to be turned away. What do you suggest? Can I wait in the back room? Surely. There will be no objection to my waiting in the back room. My dear sir. Of course you are welcome to wait for them in the back room. Do you see the door? Ah, the radius, yes. Very clever. Ha, ah, thank you. However, you might have to wait quite a while for the radius to arrive. Perhaps you might want to come back later. Oh, perhaps I will. That's fine, let's go to the library. It's just next door anyways. Got some time. Hugo the Librarian. Reshtek? Always messing with my system. Excuse me? <laughs> yes? What is it? <laughs> I was wondering whether you have the book. What? I was wondering whether you have the book. Okay, I don't know what the... She's messing with? Every week a problem. Elusive Epsilon. Tricky Trigonometry. Epsilon. Epsilon. Yes, we have it. But unfortunately, I can't seem to find it at the moment. Anything else? I was wondering whether... Uh, how are you today? F -f Fine. F -f my colleague, I wish he didn't mess with my system all the time. F -f very careless. Maybe I can help. I don't think so. Unless you can, can how, see how this system is supposed to work. It all seems random. It's not random. Uh, just something popped up in my inventory. I don't know what it is. Maybe a card or something. Just uh, increase the numbers to six. Then start counting at zero again. What? Go ahead. I'm sure it's right. <laughs> really? Good goodness gracious. It makes much more sense. Thank you, Air. Shell. My pleasure, Hugo. Uh, 
pad? Do you, do you, oh well, no matter. Uh, cause the hover, the hover state. <laughs> Have a good day, Sarah Shell. You too. My desk. My, I mean, the librarian's desk. <laughs> Come on, you're actually saying that out loud? Inside voice. Here, Shell. Inside voice. Row of physics. What's the name of the first electric electricity detective? Sherlock Holmes. <sighs> Nerds. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Maybe the radius has arrived by now. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk. Uh, quarreling couple. She's winking in my direction. <laughs> I surely wouldn't be allowed to join them. It says who? Do whatever you want now. Patron. Another fabulous mustache. Yes? Would you like some coffee? Uh. Yes? Milk and sugar. Certainly. So I wonder if there's something to that. Like I can keep clicking. I don't know. <laughs> like otherwise. Hmm, just right. Otherwise, what's the point of that, right? I wonder. Maybe if I can caffeine up or something. I'll do something. I don't have to sleep or something. I don't know. Pondering, pondering, pondering. We got alpha achievement unlocked. One stage changes into another. But how? Well, strangely deformed seat. I was going to say something. No, don't. Uh, my god, that is an impressive buttock imprint. All right, she said it much proper than, than I did. I wonder whose seat this is. Empty seat. This seat is very clean compared to the others. I can't stand sitting. <laughs> <laughs> the door is it. Okay, uh, problem of the week. That's like the, uh, the enormous shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Those are fun. Uh, keeping their minds active. What's this thing? Uh, with puzzles posed by Zaller, no doubt. Intriguing. And this week it's about the origin of the number pi. Mm, circle girl. Mm, pi. No. I must prove myself by solving this. Pi. The radius. What the? Why, why, why am I, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, but I don't understand what I'm seeing or what I'm doing. Am I, is this thing increasing size when I, what can I do here? I'm extending the line to get the diameter and I, but I can't, can I click four? Can I click over here? Oh, there we go. I just got to keep pushing. Ah. If I picture it like that, then it becomes fairly obvious. Three and three circles. And that's uh, Pi is the key to the circle. Yes. No, I tell you. That won't work either. The Euler method only works up to a certain point. You never agree with me. Sadler himself couldn't find anything. What have we here? A visitor? You must forgive me, gentlemen. I hope that what I have written here can serve as a calling card. It can indeed, sir. That is quite remarkable. Grenote Zaller at your service, and you are... My name is Emile Schell, from the Friedrich Wilhelms uh, Universität in Berlin. I thought I knew most of the fellows at the University of Berlin, but please feel welcome, sir, to the Radius. You obviously belong. Oh, um, hello. You need to... That's downright nonsense. 
Good day, my name is Emil Shell. And you are? Good day, Shell. My name is Stefan Nenner. You said you are from the University of Berlin? Yes, that is correct. So you are a lecturer as well. I teach at the University of Vienna in the mathematics faculty. I look forward to comparing notes. Hmm, gladly. Ah, Shell. What is your area of expertise? Tell me, do you know many lecturers at the Berlin University? Do you keep in touch with them? Um, some of them. But I was always, what the hell? Do you know Robert Koch? I'm just asking because, never mind why. Do you know him? No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a shame. Robert Koch. I should look that name up when I get the time, in case it's important for my ruse. <laughs> Inside voice. Uh, I would like to talk about my theory. I, so here, Shell. You are a professor at the Berlin University. Well, yes, of course, you must be. But <laughs> probably very new to it. Actually, oh, a <laughs> supply teacher. Herr Zahler. Hmph. What, what is it? I would like to talk about my theory. Fine. Let's hear it. Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Um, curious. That sounds a lot like my own work. Well, I cannot deal with such distractions at this time. I need to work on my own theories. But do ask the other members. They need the challenge. Snore. <laughs> Why do you... What? Okay, too fast. Oh, they're talking to themselves. Never mind. They're arguing. I don't want to intrude. They're arguing. I don't want to intrude. Hey, Cancer Man. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emil Schell. Horach. Horaj. A pleasure to meet you. Be your acquaintance, Air Raj. Kof. <laughs> I'm looking for help with my current thesis. What is your field of expertise? Complex analysis. Number theory. A prime combination. <laughs> it feels it felt uh, prime. No. <laughs> I'm looking for help with my current th thesis. Topic? Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Hmm. Not my area of expertise. Well then, goodbye. Uh, let's take a seat. Strangely to form seat. Blackboard. Oh, let's go to the blackboard. Wait, can I check this thing? I can't. Stop, 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 stop before you check yourself. <laughs> it's a picture of the number, the members of the radius. Okay. Now go to the blackboard. Ha, I found something. Go ahead then. I found some. What did you find? Let it out. Uh, let's take a seat. My god. What is it? You need to. They're still arguing. Uh, oh no. It's nothing. Oh. How disappointing. <laughs> this impressive buttock imprint. Shell. What's so interesting about my chair? Uh oh, nothing, sir. Sorry. You didn't even listen to me. Shell, I told you. I have no time for your distractions. Perhaps one of the other members has time to li uh, listen to your theories. I, I try. Okay, let's go back to Nenner. Yes? We did have more options. What do you teach exactly? I teach discrete mathematics. I also taught a short lesson on something really interesting a few weeks back about a process called Markov chain. I try to broaden the horizon of my students every now and then with new theories. What is the Markov chain? I'm so glad you asked. No one around here seems to be interested in discussing new theories anymore. A Markov chain, as Markov himself describes it, is a process where one state transitions to another, with the probability of the next state depending purely on the current one. Oh, I was going to make a comment about the gaseous. Solid, gas, well, I was trying to think of a joke that couldn't come up. <laughs> hmm. Consider a drunkard walking on a numbered line. Each step, he either moves forward by one or backwards by one, so the next step or state depends only on his current position and not where he has stumbled already. Correct. Was it drunk at the beginning? Nice call back. Uh, very interesting. I have a question about one of the other members. What do you want to know? Tell me, uh, Roch seems taciturn. He wasn't always. He actually has quite a brilliant mind. But he's a horrible teacher. Don't tell him I said that. How about the two arguing fellows? Ah, Nikik and Worm? Excuse me? 
Those are their names. Um, the one on the left is Nikik. They don't seem to get along very well. Don't worry, they fight a lot. What about? Math, mostly. Who's the sleeping one? Oh, that's Elric. The doctor in our circle. Why is he sleeping? It was subtle at first. He just fell asleep one time and no one noticed. Now he feels so at home here that he just falls asleep every afternoon. We've known him for so long, we don't really mind. That was Zalar. What about him? Is he the founder of the Radius? Yes. Along with Eilric and Raj? How did that Radius come to be? Well, as far as I know, Zalar was looking for like-minded people, sort of elite mathematicians, the best of the best, to exchange opinions and theories on all topics mathematical. He had heard about a circle of mathematics in London, so he decided to found one himself here in Vienna. His, maj his majesty was intrigued and agreed to fund the Radius. Can you imagine that this kind of shit still... I mean, it does in some other ways, but this, this old school way of doing it... Hey, majesty, form a thing. You want to throw some money at it? Yeah, sounds great. As long as it uh, led the mathematical uh, progress, Alric and Raj were quick to join as were several others. Well, now there's the internet, so you, pff, anyone can be connected. It's worldwide. Um, and over the over time, Worm, and then Nikik, then I joined as well. I'm looking for help with my current thesis. What are you working on? Functions of change. I'm looking into, the, into change states and these kinds of functions. Intriguing. But I don't think I can be much help with that. My focus is on discrete mathematics, unmoving parts of constant systems. Perhaps one of the other members of that radius can assist you. But the Markov chain that you explained before is just that, a process of change. Just because discrete mathematics is my area of expertise doesn't mean I don't enjoy dabbling in all other mathematics. I might have skipped that too quick. Uh, with varying degrees of success. <laughs> I got it, because change got Take care. You too, Shell. All right, let's talk back there. Shell, I told you. I have no time for your distractions. Perhaps one of the other... Maybe, 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 Theories. Let's go back to Blackboard. Ha, ah, found something. What? Uh, found something. Nope. Do it again. 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 Okay, fine. Stop. Go back to... Let's talk about the button. Are we done here? My God. What is it? Oh, man. Okay, now. Over here. Talk to Cancer Man. Nothing. Sorry. Go. Hmm. Goodbye. How about you? Do you want to talk, Worm? Nope. How about you, Nikik? Nope. How about you, Sleepyhead? Knock, knock. Knock, knock on the skull skull. Okay. I uh, I have nothing else to click on. So, I guess I'm going to excuse myself. I can't? What have I missed? What the hell? Oh, the carpet. I didn't click on the carpet. Are you kidding me? It looks cozy. I don't... Outside? I can't... Oh, fireplace. An empty fireplace. Someone drew a pie in the ashes. Well, I can't do anything else. I don't know how to get out of this. Nanner! I'm stuck, Nanner! <laughs> Can I get out? I can't get out, though. <laughs> I can't get out. I don't know what the hell's going on. What if I... Um, no, it's nothing. Oh. Click on myself? Let's go back to the middle. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I suppose... They just make these? Oh, I did click something new here. Hold on, go back. Come on. There it is. Even the carpet has the radius symbol on it. it looks cozy. Okay, that's it for that. Let's try the... There's nothing there, huh? Okay. What am I not seeing? I've clicked on every one. I don't know what else to do. I just want to go. <laughs> the hell is happening? Oh my god. 
stop. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Is there nothing else I can click on for real? Keep poking him. <laughs> poke, poke, poke your face. I poke it. I poke it. Here, just keep trying to intrude. No, how about worm? No? How about cancer, man? What the hell? I'm stuck. I can't do anything. I've clicked everywhere. What did you find? Do I have to restart you? You seem stuck in a loop. <laughs> Going in circles here. <laughs> Spiraling. <laughs> oh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> what the hell? How many times did I click on this side of the friggin' room, man? <laughs> Mountain painting. The label reads. Oh, Pialdo. Look at that. What? what? Doesn't look like anything to me. So that's a grandfather? What? No, don't go back in that room. It is a trap. Let's go. Sigh. I came here looking for help, but these mathematicians, I'm not certain they can help. They can help. If they can't, what will I do? I hope my masquerade isn't a waste of time. The useless lumps. Oh, this is. I'd rather use my own at home. Using these facilities might be yeah, up. Well. Kitchen's no okay. Hey waiter, waiter. Yes. Would you like some coffee? Three. Yep. Yeah, sure. Is that milk and three spoons? Of, that's a lot of sugar. Three spoons? Yes. Is there a problem? No. Of course not. That was a lot of sugar. Woo! Sweet. All right, patron. Fabulous mustache. All right, let's, uh, let's get on out of here, I suppose. Uh, wink, wink, remember right? Okay, that's arguing. Uh, uh oh, she noticed me. <laughs> Ahem. Stare questioningly at the two women. Hold the door for the two women. What are you trying to say? I must. I trust your visit with the radius was rewarding, Airshell. Hmm. If I could not remember how I was treated, I would not know to mimic it now. Hmm. Every change in behavior occurs over time. I'm afraid I don't understand mathematics. You are exactly right. It is mathematics. What is your name? Maurice, sir. Maurice, yes, of course it would be. All matres are named Maurice. Maurice, you are a genius. I, I think I might have clicked over one line that I was important. If only my parents had seen that. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. I need to get at out of these uncomfortable clothes. Quick now. I must write this down. Where's your chalkboard? What have you done? Ah, there we go. The whole world is full of math. All within my reach. Hmm. Days ago, I would not have known what the ladies at the cafe expected of me. But just now, I remembered the gentleman who once opened the door for me. My behavior changed. And that change transpired over time. Oh. Well, I certainly don't. I'm just gonna, X. A given parameter. Every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. That's it. I don't know what that was. Of course. That's it. Hmm. I need to change first. Oh. 
I need to change first. Change the ammo. Hmm. Hmm. Emma, am I interrupting? No, of course not. Today you look much happier. Today I am happier, Nicole. How are you? The same. I am always the same. Have your parents returned? No, they've gone on to Sweden. Nicole! It is time for your history lesson. History? I hate history. It never changes. <laughs> well, it depends. Who wins? Who wins the next war, then... Poof! Nicole! How rude. I mean, other people live in this building, bitch. <laughs> Just stop. Okay, days later. <laughs> Such a calm game, and I gotta get all riled up. Okay. Change into... Oh. Oh, that's a nice little trick there. So I'm, uh... Let's go to the library. Let's go work. That's why I, I was like, why would they have to put that there? Ah, neat. Hmm. All right, now Emma, concentrate. Every change occurs over a given parameter. So to preserve a state in that change. Hmm. It's a good thought. I need to know how it's happening. But I'm missing something else. Alright, try something else. To preserve a state in a change. Oh, who are you? Do you have Freud's jokes and their relation to the unconscious? Yes, of course. It should be in the psychology section. What about. Mm, oh, yes. Three essays on the theory of sexuality. On the theory of what? The sex book. Yeah, she, she just straight up say it. Um, never mind. Oh. Well, she changed his his. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should uh, try another approach. I was literally going to say approach. Uh, to preserve a state in a change, uh, I need to. Why it's happening. Hmm. If I do this. No, that's too general. All right, try something else. To preserve a state in a change. How are you today, Frau Reischneck? Damn it. I'll be Herr Witkin, uh, Wittgenstein. I heard about your father. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. You're back from Manchester? Only for a few days. I wanted to return Russell's principles of mathematics. And Fre Fre Fregis? Fregis? I forget. Uh, <laughs> Grungestet's Dear Arithmetic. Arithmetic. Were they helpful? I've only read Frege's book. At first, I believed the books were in conflict. While I was in England, I studied them again and again. I almost gave up on them. It wasn't until crossing the channel, after putting both books down for a while, that I began to see the commonalities. If only I could find the right words to describe to you what that felt like. If you don't know how to talk about it, they all seem rude. <laughs> oh, I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Very well. <laughs> Good day to you. Good day, Air. <laughs> Was he trying to mansplain? <laughs> uh, the change in his thinking came from observations. <sighs> At first, he was too close, but then... He changed his perspective. When did Ludwig see the commonalities between the two books? When he was still in Manchester, when the ferry, when on the ferry across the channel. 
Didn't you say on the other side? That's it. Okay. <laughs> His change of mind came about in the few hours between Dover and Kali... Oh. Oh. A change can only be observed in a certain time frame. Stop looking at me, freak. <laughs> oh, my achievement. <laughs> Locus observandi. Operandi? Hang on. Lo 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 yeah. Uh, modus operandi. Wow, I've been saying that a lot this week for some reason. <laughs> the MO? Modus operandi. Locus operandi. Okay, I need to go home and write this down. Wait, no, this dude is looking at you. This man is a regular. Keep clicking on him. He comes here every day and spends hours reading the same book over and over. He's reading some book about attractive forces between. Okay. We're going to leave the library. Oh, I didn't put the books away. That was that was nasty. That was rude. Here, we're going to transform. Oh. Pardon me. Wait, that'll just automatically kick up the screen. Shoot. Okay. I'm looking for an address, Salvat took her ass. Oh, we got a what? A Zento woman. Salvat, uh, achievement. Am I headed in the right direction? I don't know what. Yes, you are. The building is just there. You know someone who lives there? Yes, my niece, Nicole. Oh, I visited her a couple of times before. <laughs> but I still get lost in this city. Ah, oh, I know her. She's up, uh, she's, she's my upstairs. Oh, she's my upstairs neighbor, in fact. Please tell me, how is she? Is she happy? To be honest, no. I, t I play her play pragmatic. She's pr she's logical. She's going to say it the way it is. You are her uncle, you say? To be honest, no. My sister and her husband travel a great deal. Are they looking after her? She's alone much time. Her governess yells at her like a sergeant in the army. I can't see my niece putting up with that. Nicole hides. To be honest, I think it bothers me more than her. <laughs> that is my Nicole. She is tougher than her parents think. Thank you for your kindness. Of course. Let's go. Achievement. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I thought it was just going to transform me. I got to go. Th That's just does not waste time. Now the dude's not going to be at the library anymore. That was the whole point. See if I can talk to this guy. I'm just going to be perusing some books. Oh, but it doesn't let me. It always does this. Hmm. Return books. Several return books. I'll put them away in a minute. No, sorry. <laughs> kind of forgot. I never show me the returns. <laughs> I, I forgot. I was in a rush. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, whether you have, I was wondering whether you have the book every week of uh, tricky trigono trigonometry. I'm sorry, we don't have that one. It's complicated. Anything else? It is. Do you have something from or about Robert Koch? Mm, looking him up. That's cool. Let me look this up for you. Could have walked away on that. Ah, yes. We have a copy of the ideology of oh tuberculosis a short article coach published in the berlin clinical weekly thank you i'll just quickly skim through it if that's all right of course so work coach is a physician and microbiologist oh for his groundbreaking research on tuberculosis he received the nobel prize in medicine achievement unlocked medical expertise anything else I was wondering whether you have the book uh, Every Week a Problem. 52 Mind Bending Problems for the Mathematical Mind? We had it, but unfortunately it's Lent. Anything else? So, do you have something from or about? Nah, never mind. Anything else? Mm, just browsing. Have a good day. Can I go back there and see what the hell this dude's looking at? Book on Physics. Fine. Um, where do I go? Do I go? Ooh, let's see if I go to the market as in see what happens. As in yield.
I need to write down my new idea, Butcher. Yes, would you like to buy some meat? I would like to buy some meat. I would like uh, half a kilo of beef, please. Two rounds. I'll give you some change. I would like to get the, the, the yeah, let's gotta have a healthy meal here. Hearty vegetables. What should you have? Mm, I would like to buy a kilo of potatoes, please. Uh, lady is busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, oh, oh. Should I? Oh, yeah, let's find out. Exotic wares from the new world. A small shining stone or crystal. Uh, welcome. Can I help you? Uh, what exactly are you selling? I sell all kinds of useful things. Cures, ointments, curiosities, for example. Maybe I could interest you in this exotic powder. Ground bone of a colorful beast. It invigorates and rejuvenates. No, I... The effects are well worth the price. To be blunt, this sounds very weird. Do people actually buy this? Mine air. No need to be rude. I assure you, men of all walks of life, buy from my stall. Mm. Well, if you are not going to buy anything, please make room for customers that do. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder what that did, buying food. It didn't seem like it did anything. Let's go to the cafe. Should I try to go to the circle again now that I have information about the one dude? Why not, right? Yeah. Uh, good day. Hi. Excuse me, coming through. I'm gonna go to the gentleman's room. I don't have time to talk to you. And in you go. Oh, it's not gonna make a difference. But I do know about the dude now, so let's go back in here. And let's talk to him. Oh! The Euler method only works up to a certain point. Nonsense. You've probably just made a mistake somewhere. Why, you... Again, no one can solve the problem. Ah, Shell. Why don't you try your luck with this week's problem? Seller's making them harder every week. Well, of course. So, get to it. Okay, let's... What's the problem? <laughs> We're trying to find correlations between primes. Numerology. Not my strong suit. Let's see what happens. Do I have to click like this? Oh. It's an idea. But non non conclusive. Okay, so let's get to the next idea. This one? The corners that aren't primes. You know what I was thinking about? Assassin's Creed. <laughs> the puzzles there. That's what that was this was reminding me at one point. Maybe not. There's something here. Ah. Sometimes these straight lines appear. Hmm. Almost. As if the numbers have a certain pattern to them. Interesting, I think. Huh. I think they do. He's got it. If I extrapolate. <laughs> nice. Is that a new method to find primes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So again, gentlemen, our guest from Berlin triumphs. The luck of the Germans is with him. <laughs> Nonsense. Our colleague has a gift. That is clear. I agree. It's quite remarkable. Gentlemen, gentlemen. If only in your company... It's only in your company that I flourish. Is he trying to ridicule us? No, you understand. You misunderstand. He might have already. <laughs> you just didn't notice. I assure you. Uh oh. From the hospital, sir. Uh oh. Gentlemen, you must excuse me. Air Shell, would you like to join me outside? Some shackle tort. Shack. Shackle. Shackle tort? And coffee, perhaps, my treat? Certainly. Time to go talk to strangers. Well, don't give yourself away. You can do it. Oh, we're gonna cut out. We're gonna cut cut the pastry and find a shape. 
find another pattern. A stern looking gentleman. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, yeah, cool. He's just busy drawing something. I don't want to intrude. Oh, so that's this is cool. That's cool. Joy Nenner. Uh, what was that all about? Back in the radius? Zyler's sister is terminally ill with tuberculosis. I'm truly sorry to hear that. My father died of it. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Oops. Drop the detail there. Father always encouraged me. Believed in me. I became a mathematician because of him. I'm glad he did. I got to meet you because of him. I'm intrigued by your notions of change. States of change and the collapse of such states. I admit I'm struggling with it. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think so. Just wait until we get our cake. And I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> to bite off more than one can chew. I'm just getting orders. I wonder if that's like every time I order food. This was, I don't know. I got distracted. It's the last line. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so eating some cake. If you really feel that way. I probably shouldn't mention it. But this is Zaller's field too. But he is a proud man and maybe disciplined, too disciplined to help. Hmm. I believe he's beginning to consider you a rival. You might try Elric. He has done some similar work. Every time I approach him, I find him asleep. <laughs> yes, he does enjoy his afternoon naps. A difficult wall to breach. Would you like? Uh, would you look at my equations? I would value your opinion, if you like. But I assure you, this is outside my expertise. Thank you, Nanner. You are a good friend. Oh. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Franz Marker. The artist? Sir, this is an honor. I saw your latest painting of the lieutenant. Captivating. What can we do for you? How about your friend here? Air Shell. Emil Shell. You must forgive me, but I have been studying from across the room. Oh, the layers of you are... Contradictory somehow. Layers? Contradictory? Not at war with one another, but uh, duality. Changing. At first I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with the first. Changing, you say? I want, I must paint you. Oh. I would be honored. Oh. Interesting. Change of. The change! Change of perspective! <laughs> like now no i don't know because he'd find out the truth i uh, it's impossible that's not what i said though i think i well i didn't say it i believe it said i'd be honored i don't remember <laughs> that's impossible oh well preface for the best oh change time i just changed the time i just rippled it i just rippled it completely i'm pretty sure in the beginning i wonder he thought differently about me. Then, then in the end, <laughs> I must just help myself to another piece of snortle tort, tort something, something with tort, tart, some tart, shot tart, 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 something. I need to uh, go home and write this down. How did you perceive time like that, by Nenner? Seems to contemplate with it. whether or not to order another piece of cake. Let's go home. What if I never... It's a lot of questions. <laughs> I need to go home, write down. Because like, if you never come into this cafe as a meal, then you never have that encounter. <laughs> For anthology. <laughs> That's messed up. Parallel timelines. Uh, I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes, okay? So you're out. Hmm. Change happens over a given parameter. Hmm. Someone right walking up to me. Oh, it's the stairs, maybe. Like, Wittgenstein's thinking changed. Interesting. He observed the change in a given time frame. A change can only be observed in a given time frame. Mm -hmm. 
Of course. I can only see a falling leaf. Oh, I can only see a falling leaf while it is still falling. But I get to work on another proof. I swear to God, I keep hearing someone. Oh, it's the food. <laughs> no, it isn't. Is it? No, no, that's sausage. All right. I don't know why that amused me. A <laughs> world full of math within my reach. Hmm. Hello, Emil. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That sound is not. Are you gonna knock my door? It's crazy. Shh. Okay, it's just background noise. Okay, so uh, who do I want to go out as? Where am I gonna go? Am I gonna go to the library again? Maybe change the demo. <laughs> Wait, should I be sleeping at this point? <laughs> a lot of busy work back and forth back and forth let's go to oh, the cafe as emma i haven't been there as emma for a while let's see what happens oh he's still there hmm. welcome ah that's nenner sitting right there i can't let him see me <laughs> okay let's go to the library then Why is he still there? Uh, put these back, by the way. I need to go home, write down the new ideas. But come on, you just got here. I, I'll quickly put these away. There you go, so he doesn't complain about you. We're gonna try to get to this dude. Here, let's put that away. Okay, let's go talk to this, there. Half an hour later, reading man. Wait a minute. Is he looking at me? Why can't I get to this damn? <laughs> oh, I want to ding. Will I get his attention? Hold on. I she smiled when I did it. Oh. Oh, she smiled when you looked. Oh. <laughs> Incomplete theory. Did I never click on this? Thanks to Wittgenstein, Wittgenstein, I know how to proceed. Incomplete theory. My desk. Not much to it. Hey. Clicking it fast. Damn it. You never borrow here hold on click on it and then it goes like this okay i give up me you looking at me you better not be looking at me okay uh we're going to the market i gotta go home and complete the theory uh i want to oh look what it is Let's change time, shall we? How exciting. Oh, because I ended up... Uh -huh. Where did the painter? Did they, they didn't leave together. Well, I guess they did now. Okay. Chalkboard. Oh, that's the mushroom. Not a potato. Tomato. <laughs> Potato at the top and something seems to cost ninety nine dollar and something else. So just terrible writing. Got it. Exit map. Let's all, uh, exit stage right instead of stage left. How's that? Just supposed to click on the boarding? I don't know. Market, library, cafe, apartment. I guess you want me to go to the apartment. Change to me. No, let's go to the apartment. We gotta write this down. Do I have to be dressed as? Hmm. Uh, check the mirror. Emma. Okay. All right, Emma. Ooh, what was that axiom stuff? A change can be observed in a given time frame. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something else. What did I see? <gasps> oh. Oh, what's this? Axiom one. Every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. A change can only be observed in a given time frame. Blackboard. Hmm. Ah. The painter. Oh. 
When he first observed me, he thought one thing, but then he changed his mind. Parallel timelines. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Every change has an origin and a destination state. A fallen leaf starts still attached to its branch and just a few moments later it rests on the ground. Finally, I can build a relation between these states and my theory. Yes, <laughs> it's starting to come together. I can feel it. Good. Days later. Do you still have sausage? Mm. We are going to go... Where? No. We need it to be a meal. We're going to go to the circle. Radius. To the radius. What's this plaza? I'm going to go to this plaza. <gasps> found something over here hello sir good day I'm gonna talk to him again what can I do for you um, uh, sure table for one let's see first follow me <laughs> because I'm getting into character I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'm gonna talk to the dudes hey dudes I figured it out. Oh, I'm, I think I'm early. Shit. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. We're gonna look at this carpet. It looks cozy. And then we're gonna write on this chalkboard. Nothing to solve right now. Hmm. Oh, hello, cancer man. Where's everybody? Not here. Oh, um, do you know when the others will arrive? <laughs> Later. Nenner is holding classes. Should be here shortly. Elrich is at the library, studying. Nikik and Worm are always late. Not sure about Zaller. Hmm. Well. Your field of expertise is number theory, is yes? Correct. I would like your opinion on the state of my research. I believe that every change has an origin and a destination state. Hmm. It matches functions based on complex analysis. Origin plus change equals destination. You are onto something. Something profound. Continue. Thank you, Raj. I guess I'll come back later. <coughs> Goodbye. Wait, check the fireplace now then. Um, an empty fireplace. Someone drew a pie on the ashes. Okay. No one likes to turn on the fireplace here. Ba, ba, ba. Light. Light up. <laughs> it's not electric. We're in the past. Things haven't changed yet. <laughs> All right. So we have the library. I guess I'll go. Yeah. Library as. Oh. I have to pass some time until. Okay. No problem. Let's go. Good day, Hugo. How are you doing today? <laughs> Good day, Urshel. How can I help you? I was wondering... Ah, there we go. Shell? What a surprise. Oh. Hello, Alaric. Sigh. I came here to get some kind of advantage for the next problem of the week. But even here, you best me. <laughs> you were always fast asleep. I didn't know you cared. Of course I care. One minute I doze off while thinking about the solution to the problem. Next, I wake up, the problem is solved. With you quite smug next to me. How do you do it? Well... The change transpires while you are asleep. Without observation during a time frame, the change must seem instantaneous. Well, it's more like philosophy at this point. Uh, yes, but <laughs> you're right. If I were to be awake while you solve the problem, I could observe the change myself. Exactly. Perception. <laughs> Perception, reality, Descartes, 
Berkeley does some talks about that in philosophy. It's philosophy. <laughs> Back in these days, I know, philosophy, they, they kind of mixed up, and then they, people had to like work ideas as not uh, whatever. <laughs> salsa, salsa. Uh, you're uh, you've given me something to think about. Uh, who else? Hume, Hume, and a lot of that stuff. He was a big one. Uh, I will see you later in the radius. Yes. Could you please keep it down next time? Go to hell. Here you go. Is there nothing else I can look here? No, huh? All right, leave. Hmm. Do you want to talk to him again? Okay, fine. Well, now I just left. I'm stuck. Maybe I could reflect on my findings with the members of the radius. Good day. I've seen people coming back all the time. Just leaving their coats behind. Yes? No, no, sorry. I accidentally clicked on you. Oh, that was probably a joke in there. Uh, kitchen, circle. Where are you? It's not done yet. Ah, shell. Salar's at the hospital again. His poor sister. Cough. Are you all right? Don't worry about the cough. It's just the smoke. Dude. Oh. And Omega. Oh, the beginning and the end. I got Alpha early on. I remember. Shell. Emil, I'm sorry. Your theory. I feel so far out of my depth. I'm drowning in variables. Forgive me, my friend. I appreciate you taking the time. Do you have the papers I gave you? Now, don't be angry. I gave them to Zahler. He is your best chance. Haven't you seen the way he studies me now? How many of them do? They watch every move I make. They want to see me trip up. I'm sure you're wrong. I'd like you to address my class. Me? But what can I talk about? Matthew Ninny. I wouldn't expect you to expound upon... I wouldn't expect you to expound upon... The care and feeding of Lipizaner horses. What? Well, oh, it's a joke. Will you do it? What? I wouldn't expect you to speak about the feeding of the horses? Okay. Uh, let me think about it. I can't, Nanner. I'm sorry. Yes, my friend. That's a lot of people. Be looking at you. How long can you keep up this masquerade, right? Sure. For you, I will humiliate myself before your students. Magnificent. We'll arrange a date for you to speak. Uh oh. <laughs> Nick, it can worm. No, 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 no. You Serbian <laughs> Can you see that the equation is solved? Can't you see all the variables still unsolved? Wow. Cough. Gentlemen, why don't, why don't you just ask Emil here? I'm sure he can help. He can end your disagreement with a single stroke. Where would be the fun in that? Exactly. My god. They've just agreed. <laughs> They're both right. Here we go again. All right, time, change, change, time. And then you know that at first it might be unsolved, but in time it will be finished. That's it. Shell? What? I'm sorry, I can't stay right now. Hmm. There's always an end. Hmm. An end state? Oh, so it's absolute. Hmm. I don't know. I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes, okay? There you go. Why does that always happen after I get comfortable? Blackboard. Hmm. Nick and Worm agreed whether the result of the equation was already found or not. So in a given time frame, a change can end. Ooh, I wonder if I could do that. Just go like that. Just no. Wait, I thought that's what I did last time, though. 
Oh, that's all I can do, though. Oh, I can do this. No, 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 no. Collapse. Oh, that's supposed to be it. Go back to the state of... Hmm. No. I screwed up. Well, yes, but... No. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> In a given time frame, the change can... Can change? The change can... Be ongoing? At the moment of observation, the change can either be final or ongoing. No. Oh. Yes. Oh, Omega. It's the end. It's finality. Uh, the falling leaf doesn't stop falling just because I stopped looking at it. That's that's philosophy, man. <laughs> but where will the change lead then? Uh, I did not give you the key. The coal. I um, know what this looks like. Yes. The last few weeks, I saw Mister going into your apartment a lot. I thought you were just having an affair with an impossibly handsome man. I didn't understand why you wouldn't introduce me. It wouldn't have been difficult. <laughs> That's for sure. What? Nicole, give me a moment to change. Then I'll try to explain. Sigh. I'm not playing dress up. You're not? Emma. Um, what do you want me to call you then? Oh. I'm still Emma. Interesting. I'm still Emma. Oh, it's the whole change thing too is in here, like that. But it could be ever changing in the middle. That was just solved. Like, was just the answer she just got. It's kind of interesting. Had I said don't know, because you don't know the end. Because that, that, that's the whole point of that. But, but I feel I'm more than that. Hmm. Oops. I'll call you M. That's what you both have in common. M. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I should have said the one that went with the equation. I know. I keep on trying to. Mark people. Oh, roleplay these characters instead of just do the plot the ways ah I wish I could, uh, could go live with Uncle Leo's again we tried it but he was too busy running to the inn oh oh yeah no he ran the inn I'm sure he would uh, love for you to stay with him if it were possible I know maybe someday right where are your parents New York Nicole do you understand why I dress as a man sometimes I think so and I won't tell. You can't do... Uh, you can't do what you want to either. You can't be who you are. Who you feel you are. It shouldn't matter if you have a dream. Everyone dreams. Everyone should have the right to try and make their dream come true. Look, there's little Gustav. His name means warrior. <laughs> I wonder if he dreams of being a soldier. He can be, if he wants to. No, he told me he dreams of desert, desert mostly. <laughs> Why must only men go to war? I don't know. Anyone who has gotten on the wrong side of Frau Kunz there would not only be uh, would not would not want to meet her on a battlefield. It's a European thing. There's Miss Dorothy. She told me that she's moving out. She wants to go back to her family. Really? It is her. It's a violinist. I heard she was quite the talented composer. Oh, and violinist. But did you know only men can be first violin in an orchestra? I think we should have lots of dreams. 
and all of them should come true. That would be wonderful. Wouldn't it? Oh, is that the uh, Fibonacci sequence? I don't know. Uh, what's the matter? You look funny. What we become? It doesn't have to be a single dream. You're right. And a change. Goodness gracious, in a change, the destination could be a set of states. Nicole, you're a miracle. Nicole, where are you? It's time for your sewing lessons. Sewing? Yuck. What do you like, Nicole? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> I want to eat. Uh, the whole world is full of math. Surprises await me today. I don't get on the blackboard. Let's find out. Emma, you just saw it. Perfectly formed. Remember, the destination state can be... Ding. Observation can be a set of states. Of course. If I turn away while watching the falling leaf, it could land, yes, but could be picked up by a gust of wind mm -hmm. or disintegrate into dust. Aha. Not too likely, I'm afraid. Well, oh, Emma, you're almost there, almost there. Meanwhile, Kara, I need your help. Your advice once again, dear sister. Ever since childhood, I have relied on you. I can't stop now. It's a strange Berliner who we have allowed into the radius. He vexes me. Days have turned to weeks, and he shows no sign of leaving us. And leave us he must. He is a cancer eating at our little troop. Jeez. The other fellows resent him. No, they don't. Each time he solves the problem of the week, I can see the contempt for us in his eyes. And now this. This. Nenner gave me Shell's current research. It's my field after all. Oh, no. But Shell would never ask me for help. No. Well, I did. You didn't want to help me, jackass. It's good, Kara. I think I see where he's heading, though. And it is a dead end. I think I could help him, but I hesitate. Why? Because... Because I fear him. I fear he will prove it. He's not there yet. But one day, sooner rather than later, he could cast all of my work into shadow. I can't allow that to happen, can I? Oh dear. You're talking nuts right now. <laughs> no, you're right, as always. I can't allow it. First, I will appeal to his sense of justice. I may be able to convince him to turn away from this line of research and return to Berlin. If not, I must defend myself. You understand that, don't you? Your brother Gernot must defend his honor. Our family honor. What? What? I'll go to him. His address is on the papers Nanner gave me. I'll go. Reason with him. Oh dear. And if he refuses to listen to reason, why, in that case, I will destroy him. Okay, you're a psychopath. Get out of the apartment. The next morning. No, no. Oh. Uh oh. Those turnips are fresh off the truck. I've never known. I just noticed this here. Was that always there? I've never known how to prepare turnips. They are like wood. Ah. You cook. Peculiar. I was not always there. I, uh, uh, there's a trick you see. 
Most people boil the turnips for 40 minutes or so, depending upon how big they are, and leave it at that. That softens them up. But you aren't done yet. If you're not careful, they lose their flavor. Another reason I avoided them. I don't boil, I roast. I cube the turnips and roast them uh, for the same length of time. But there is a secondary step. If you fail to do it, they will still not appeal. I'm not convinced. Just wait, hear me out. When the roasted cubes are soft and golden brown, I toss them with some apple cider, vinegar, and parsley. The vinegar locks in the and enhances the flavor. Haha! -ha. I'm more like, ha 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 ha. I don't have time for a secondary step. <laughs> that sounds like it would take ages. <laughs> it sounds. Wait. <laughs> to maintain the flavor, a secondary change is required. Now you have it. Won't you buy one? One? I'll buy two, three, no, a dozen. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. I need to get out of these uncomfortable clothes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, what did the vegetable vendor say? He talked about turnips maintaining a state changing a state he cut them into cubes but then no that's not it he talked about maintaining a state turnips <laughs> he didn't talk about maintaining changing the state locking in the oh maintaining a state locking in the flavor awkward yes what was it he did to keep in the flavor of turnips he changed the state okay okay sorry I'm back maintain a state of a change no oh okay shh, it's just you nicole i'm glad you're here oh god damn it we're going to cook turnips turnips you know i hate cooking emma emma shell is that woman this changes everything The same evening. We have no weekly challenge this week because Zaller has lost faith in us. Lost faith in you, possibly. Zaller knows there will always be a place for an applied mathematician like me. Emil? You betrayed me. Uh, will tomorrow evening be convenient? My class meets at 7. Yes, my friend, I will be there. Oh, no. Shell. I have read your research. It is Claptrap. You play Borderlands? <laughs> the meanderings of an unfocused, illogical mind. You are wrong, Professor. I am much further along since I wrote those notes. I can hear the lion's song. Mm. I believe I am very close to a solution. Then let us put it to the test, shall we? I debate at the university at your earliest convenience. If you are man enough. <laughs> Professor, you have nothing but my respect. Sir, if I could explain my theory. I was hoping uh, you could help me with the equation. If you insist, then so be it. Um... If you insist, then so be it. You're a fraud, Shell. Your hesitation proves it. I'm speaking to Professor Nanner's class tomorrow evening at 7. Will that be soon enough? That will do nicely. But this should not be confined to Professor Nanner's class. We will debate in the main lecture hall before the mathematics faculty and students of the University of Vienna. Do you agree? I agree. Strut. Why, Zaller? You are wrong to do this. All will become clear tomorrow, Nanner, and I promise you will be surprised. And then finally, all will be as it should be again. We'll see. I hope. 
Don't be a barbarian. Um, all right, Nenner, what have you done? Oh, he's asking around for... What? Hmm. Hmm. protect me and me a light what? you forgot to take off Emil's glasses they make me dizzy if I wear them too long they improve my div my division sometimes I'm not sure who I am anymore I'm Emil as well as Emma I am not one or the other your name is Emma? Rashness check. The first time I visited the radius, I was dressed as you see me now. I'm sorry. I remember a brief interruption. A woman. I don't remember what she looked like. There's no reason you would. It was a woman. Does Zaller know? Nope. No one does except the little girl upstairs. Will you come in? It It would not be proper. I don't understand. We are friends. Emil and I are friends. You are Emma. The two of us together in your room, alone? It wouldn't be right, but I understand, I think. I also am not what I pretend to be. Are you going through with the debate? Oh yes, I promise you I will be there. Then I hope, I hope Zaller doesn't find out. He would crucify you. Oh. Oh. I know. I know what you mean. University of Vienna, 7.02 p.m. Where is he? Uh-oh. Professor Shell appears to be late. I cannot say I am entirely surprised. However, we will wait and hope a few minutes more. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? I think that is Professor Shell. No, Shell is a woman. It's the best thing you could have done. <laughs> Professor Shell, at least we see you in your true colors. If that is even your real name. My name is M. My name is Reshneshek. Ha! A woman. That is that is relevant how? I must have missed a joke. I am here to debate mathematics, not gender. Gentlemen, I'm sure you agree this farce should be called off. I disagree, Professor. You are a junior professor. You should take care. We disagree. Let her speak. I'm a professor of mathematics. What we teach, what they came to learn, would you deny them that opportunity? They will learn nothing here from that woman. Then would you deny them the opportunity to learn from you? We want to learn. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the excitement. I defer to my colleagues. Okay, okay, slow down. You're going to bring down the entire building. Gentlemen, the last time I checked, this was an institute of learning. May the students learn. Cancer man inside this building. Gentlemen, to avoid a revolution, I suggest we let the debate continue. I agree. 
So be it. This ends now. I've read your sorry attempts to come up with a theory of change. <laughs> Maintaining a state of change. Persp preposterous, is it? You might uh, not have understood it. <laughs> what you read was incomplete. Maybe you are out of your... What you read was incomplete. It's not even your work. It's my bitch. I could see that. But where... Where your proof was headed. Utterly... Utterly... Amateurish. Do you know what they're talking about? Professor Shell's theory. It's fresh. Pay attention. Oh, shut up. I will disprove your theory right here, right now, and I will prove it. Let's begin with the foundations of, of your, dare I call it, paper. A few minutes later. There's a number of things to notice about change, first and foremost. Change happens with respect to a given parameter. Change is not instantaneous. Uh, given parameter. I mean, bum bum. Neo. Moment right there. That's obvious. Yet, I don't see it on your side. Imagine a falling leaf. It's falling over time. That makes sense. She's right. So that looks like he's going to explode. <laughs> ah, so that's what she meant. Yes, I knew that, of course. Change must be viewed in a time frame. You need a frame of reference to observe changes. You witnessed it during my right time frame. The next step, then. Now hold on just a moment. This point right here. For that to work, you have to establish a range of reference. Not so fast. Is that Professor Elric? I believe so. He's awake. <laughs> Shell once mentioned your exact point. Long before you did. He did? That is surprising. Nonetheless. <laughs> yes. That's from my theory. Well, I can't see it here. Only then can you see the states in every change. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be her. Uh, the leaf on the twig and on the ground. A beginning and an end. But that's my... Huh. A beginning and an end. Oh, those Alpha and Omega achievements came up. <laughs> But it has to start on the twig and then up on the ground and something happens in between. <laughs> the leaf on the twig and on the ground. Yes, yes. We know. A change can be final or ongoing. You can't be sure about these states. You're re reciting my theory. It could be final or ongoing. You can't be, these are both true. Well, they're all true. So which one do I choose? You can't be sure about these states. At the moment of observation, at the moment of observation, a change can be final or ongoing. Oh, damn it. And your time is almost up. For if the change is indeed ongoing, by the time you finish observing it, it would be final, yet ongoing. And that, madam, is where we call a paradox. Hmm. Oh no. That's it. I feel bad for her. No. M. There it is. Shell. Resh is, is a fraud. What happened? That can't be it. I saw it. There must be more to it. She was right about the beginning and the other points. <laughs> Did I screw up at the end? Damn it. Wait a moment. Thank God, wait. What? <laughs> now, now. There's a mistake in your thinking. 
mistake. <laughs> if you write it like this. There you go. I was waiting for the tail. There it is. Wait. Am I doing that? Nope. Oh, please. You're making a fool of yourself. Change your perspective. See? Achievement. Locus operandi. I... I suppose one could... Correct. Zaller, you know it is. Let me... Another achievement. What's going on here? Set. <laughs> Move over. Let me check that. Hmm. I didn't think of that. He didn't either. That's brilliant. If I stop observing it while it is still falling, the leaf might land on the ground or it could be picked up by a gust of wind or disintegrate. How poetic. Ha! So you know something about changing. No wonder. You are constantly changing from one disguise to another. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, that is low. Wondering what to wear, I bet. <laughs> Terrible. That's not funny. Your little addendum changes nothing. First, yeah, check. <laughs> Pronounce that one. I'm gonna try. Uh, you're either one or the other. No. You're both. Two states. Nothing in between. There can be more than one destination state. Uh, there don't need to be only two states. That's what I've been trying to say. During the observation, a change can be final or ongoing. We can't be certain of all the states. But I can prove the existence of such states. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Could you? Move a little? Hmm. She's actually doing it. You can understand her. This is getting exciting. Oh, this is nonsense. Ahem. I've read your paper. Ahem. Your theory has more holes than a gouda cheese. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Uh, you're thinking of Adam. Your expertise stinks to heaven. What a cheesy comparison. <laughs> Enough of this. This <gasps> is so great, silly. That's great. Uh, I know you can't prove it. Your, your theory is incomplete. You are nowhere close to the proof. I, a state of change cannot be maintained. Whoa. Observe. It can't be maintained. <laughs> Changing from Emma to Emil. And from Emil to Emma. A secondary inverse change. I am Emma and Emil. I am Emma and Emil. It's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Whoa. Identity achievement. Bing. No. That. That is it. She did it. Surprising. She did it. Magnificent. That's brilliant. I respect your effort, Professor. With Professor Zaller's help, I would never have arrived at the solution to a problem that has haunted me for years. He was courageous enough to risk his reputation and face me in a debate in his field. Ask yourselves, how many of you would have been fearless enough to do that? If I were still wearing my top hat, I would take it off and salute him. Now it's time to make peace. Let us be bold in our theories. 
and in who we are. And keep looking for truth with an open mind. Now, in binary achievement. Please don't do anything stupid. It's, it's over. It's fine. Days later. Right here. Oh. When I looked through that window, it hit me. At the, moment, at the time, I couldn't fathom what would happen, of course. My theory of change. My own change. So this is where Shell began. Yes. This isn't, easy. this isn't easy for me. But I thank you for not ridiculing me in front of the faculty. Gentlemen's honor. You are a worthy mathematician, Professor Reshnistek. But enough dwelling in the past. We have theories to postulate, you and I. I can rely on you for that, no? As long as our theories stay real. Do you want to come in here with me? These word plays... Oh, I, I'm, I, what am I talking about? I'm a meal. I'm a meal now. I can go wherever I want. These word plays are not funny. <laughs> what are <you> talking about? <laughs> am I being too irrational? Okay, irrational, no, we got it. Ratio, ratio, ratio. Just, uh, wait. Not to worry. I can. St I still have some more. What have I gotten myself into? Go in, go in. Get yourself some new clothes. Ah, fiend. Man, I rack up a bunch of uh, achievements on that one. It still says it says 30 out of 86, though. So damn. Still got one more to go through, but. 74% also spent equal time as a meal. Oh, they measure that. That's neat. I spent. Oh, equal time. How would you. I never intended to be equal time, but. 9% also denied being painted because they pro. What? Because they probably remember the reply and they didn't change the. Wow. All right. Well. Oh, so if I play it again, well. Maybe if I replay it, will he say like he doesn't want to do it? I mean, we'll say no. Uh, Forty-nine percent also didn't become friends with Nicole. Aww. Why? Ninety-two percent agreed to speak in front of the class. 89 decided to spare Zahler too. Look at that. Deviation achievement unlock. Okay, that's the end. Oh, I like it. It shows the function X. For some reason, I, I, I when I, my peripheral saw Finn, though. Finn. Oh, so we got the train. Ooh. Right, we're seeing the promo for four. Which I could go into that room, so I couldn't even get on. Okay, as the season comes to an end. You're probably all wondering who my last model was. Revisit the creators. Professor Rex, you say? How can I help you? Through the eyes of others. Oh. Is this seat taken? Closure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Neat. Joan, Ivan, Hurdle. Okay, here we go again. So we have sound effects. Creative. It's a stable. It's salting. Graphic design. Oh, cool. Additional support. This is amusing. Trailers, videos. <laughs> Human fonts. Molecule engine. Quality assurance. That's neat. All right. And then from here, we have uh, the summary. That's crazy. I, felt from what I, saw. I wanted to know if I could. Then I, I did. And so I did. Uh, science, we want to go to... Here, let's go into this one. There's still stuff to open up here, man. I'm be tempted to replay. If for nothing else. At least try. Try to find... I just... 
make different choices things will likely open up so first time here <gasps> oh. encouraged by Vilma Leo decides to visit his uh, niece Nicole upon finally making it into the radius secluded back room Emil notices a familiar song Nicole witnesses Vilma finally moving back to her family Witnesses Vilma fun okay. That's right, because I, I decided that. And Nanner? Yes? Why did you become a professor? Ooh, that's a story. Atypical, I can imagine. How so? Well, I started off studying theology. Theology? Yes, it seemed to make sense at the time. Finding truth and purpose in religion. But uh, at university, I discovered the sciences and math in particular, and it fit. While studying, my friends were constantly asking me for help. I had a knack for explaining even the most complex functions. To be honest, uh, I didn't understand why my professors weren't explaining it the way I did, which apparently more students understood. So you took matters into your own hands. <laughs> Basically, yes. How do you know Franz Markert and his work? Oh, I saw an article about an exhibition in a newspaper, and, well, the pictured painting spoke to me. So intrigued that I was, uh, so intrigued like I was, I went and took a look. And did you like his paintings? They are marvelous. Markert seems to capture the pure essence of his models. No secret can hide from his brush, and the way he portrays his models are gorgeous. If you could change one thing in your life, what would that be? Uh, quite the philosophical question. Hmm. Maybe, I think the only aspect I would like to change would be myself. But what and why? I can't imagine anything about you that should be different. That's kind of uh, that's kind of that's kind of you to say. But the thing is, I think and feel they must be unnatural. But you showed me that maybe maybe I'm not that improper. Maybe people are just more complex than that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I know you don't. That's perfectly fine. Perhaps that's the reason why I feel so comfortable talking to you. Gotcha. I got you. I got you. Uh, how did you feel when you discovered my true identity? As you can imagine, it was quite the shock. I knew you were different, but I would have never expected that. And to be perfectly honest, I did feel betrayed. The person I met and got to know was not who he seemed to be. I am very sorry about that. I don't know how else to get my voice heard. I know. And I've made peace with that. You are still my dear friend, after all. Goodbye. Cool. And then we have four. Let's take a look at the room. Before signing off. So we have the closure. Hmm. This room is still empty. Playing different episodes will unlock connections. And with that, we're going to wrap up this episode. And next time we come back, we're going to do episode four, which I think I'm going to possibly do close to back to back. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to be right back. We're going to play closure. I'll catch you there. Don't forget to explore. Engage and inspire, buddy. Peace.